Hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin with uh, Yu Gi Oh! Teammates. Uh, today, we're going to discuss how to combat Wind Up, another member of the Holy Trinity. Uh, last time we did. Uh, Last time we did Dino Rabbit, today we're going to do Wind Up. Uh, just like last time, I started off by letting you know how the deck works in case you don't play the deck, uh, in case somehow you've gotten by without ever playing the deck. Uh, here's how it works. Uh, a lot of people think that Wind Up is just the loop. That the big thing about uh, big tier Wind Up is the loop. It's uh, all about emptying your hand. Uh, but that's not really the case. Windup's not a one-trick pony. Um, yes, the loop is big and it's scary and it can empty your hand on the first turn. And if it does, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you take away the loop, if you take away, uh, if you take away Zen Mighty, which allows them, or Hunter, which allows them to do the loop, the deck is still good. It's still top tier. You don't need the loop to have a good windup deck. Um, so basically how the deck works if you get rid of the loop is uh, it relies on monster effects to summon and search more monsters to uh, go into exceeds like like pro like a boss uh, and they just they just exceed for days they can go into threes and fours and fives uh, they accessing some of the strongest succeeds that we have accessing uh, utopia zen mains uh, tears and adrius uh, with absolutely no difficulty whatsoever. So, uh, what you're really fighting is, is the ability to special summon those exceed monsters. So, in my opinion, when you're siding, there's no sense in siding into the loop. Let's look at the, the straight numbers of it. If you side in your Nico Main Kings or whatever, um, you side in your Nico Main Kings or whatever, uh, you've got a 5 out of 40 chance of drawing them. Which, it's not that good. It's not that good of a chance. And if you don't draw them, uh, then you're still going to get a hand emptied if they get the loop. If they don't get the loop and you do draw them, you've got a dead card in your hand. And guess what? Some of the top tier, uh, some of the top tier wind-up players, they side the loop out. The first round they play the loop, you side in all your hate, and then you waste up all those side spaces in, in uh, round two. They side in anti-meta stuff. And that's why I side machine hate rate. A <laughs> lot of people uh, do that. Now, you can do just what Lewis said and side in some machine hatred. Just know that they're pretty well prepared for that. Uh, they're pretty well prepared for the machine hatred. They've got uh, things to back it up. Like, they'll put in their own cyber dragons. Um, and not only that, but let me just give you some advice, guys. If you're going to run, like, zip stand down and stuff like that for wind-ups, do not do it. Wind-ups, when I first heard about wind-ups, I was like, okay, they're all machines, I'm going to mess them up. They're not. Uh, if you look at it, rat, be, uh, it's a beast. Uh, rabbit, it's not a machine. Uh, shark, it's not a machine. Uh... Hunter, it's not a machine, so yeah, you you're gonna be wow. you're gonna be for a for a ride, bro. Yeah, how much I know about the deck. It's it's not gonna make you happy to do those sorts of things. Uh, so what you need to focus on is what makes the deck tick, what makes the deck good, uh, and that's the ability to special summon monsters off of monster effects for exceeding. Uh, now I've talked about a couple of cards that were good for this deck already. I talked about Mirror of Oaths uh, and Fossil Dinah. Uh, setting Fossil Dyna down works very good against this deck, uh, and uh, using Mirror of Oaths to get rid of Zen Mighty uh, is also pretty good for the deck. It's not fantastic. Also works against um, the other one that Special Summons, I can't think of its name. Is that uh, Magician? Yeah, Magician. Uh, it works uh, pretty good against uh, Magician as well. Uh, I'm going to focus on some other things that I haven't really talked about yet. Uh, I think everyone knows Valor is good against all the Trinity decks. I'm not really going to mention Valor a whole lot. The only deck it's not good against right now is Dino Rabbit. Um, but uh, I'm going to talk about a couple that people are using pretty heavily. And then I've got one that people aren't using that much. Uh, but it works against a multiple... Uh, it works against a good multiple of decks. And um, it's, it's really good against Wind Up. Uh, and I'll explain it. We'll start with the first one I've got for you guys. 
is uh, Skill Drain. I think it's pretty obvious why Skill Drain yeah, is going to be good against this deck. Uh, and multiple <coughs> decks, obviously. I think it's pretty obvious why you're going to want to run this. Uh, the only problem with Skill Drain, in my opinion, is... Uh, well, actually, there's two problems with it. So I guess the only two problems with it, uh, in my opinion, are... Uh, you can't run this in every deck. Some decks cannot live without yeah, their monster right. effects... For instance, if you're running your own uh, windup, you're not going to want to run this. If you're running your own, uh, if you're running uh, Insectors or uh, Dino Rabbit or something like that, you're not going to want to run this. Uh, it's good for some decks, but not good for all decks. So, I uh, I just really wanted to point this uh, this card out because windups do get shut down by this. They get shut down by it pretty hardcore. Uh, it, 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 it stops the rat, it stops the Zen Mighty, it stops the Zen Mains, it stops all that. Make sure all that, useless. yeah, all that in a bag of chips. Because the rest uh, of them are not forced. Yeah. So, it's, it's a complete and total waste of their resources, and they're not big guys. Uh, speaking of which, when I'm talking about what side, what to side in, just as important with these guys is what to side out. Uh, and uh, one of the things that you're going to want to side out is your bottomless seas. Uh, mainly because most of your guys are not, uh, most of their guys are not 15 or above. The ones that are 15 or above, not really worth wasting your bottomless on. They're so few and far between uh, that you're not going to really, it's not really going to help you. The only one that's really worth using it on that they're going to summon and probably you're probably going to hit with bottomless is Hunter, uh, and it just it just doesn't seem worth the time because they've all, they're only running one or two of him anyway. Uh, so, do not side out your MSTs on there. No, don't side out your MSTs, but do side out your bottomless in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, the next card that we're going to talk about is goes in match. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. I I bet that hurts Jose a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's another card that not every deck can run. But some decks can run it better than others. When you're siding this, uh, if you're siding this specifically for windups, uh, know two things. First off, this card is worth changing your side deck a little bit to make your deck accessible to playing this card. So many decks are hurt by this card. Uh, windup Rabbit, I mean, Windup is uh, hurt by this card a lot. Uh, Dino Rabbit gets hurt by this card a lot. And I'm going to explain one of the big reasons why. Uh, not just the fact that all their monsters are different attributes. The only ones that are the same attributes really are Rabbit and Rat. Uh, but the big thing about it is they can't attempt to summon any monster if it doesn't match the attribute of the monsters on the field. Uh, basically, that means that uh, the only way that they can summon and exceed is if they use two sharks, make them both level threes, and make them, uh, and then they can go for Leviathan or Acid Golem. Uh, Acid Golem. And that's pretty much it. I can't think of any other. They, uh, can, they can do Shark and uh, Rat for Giga Billion. The shark and, they can't do Shark and Rat. I mean, uh, Rabbit and uh, Rat for Giga Billion. Okay, Rabbit and Rat for Giga Billion. Rabbit, wasting a Rabbit and a Rat yeah. for a 2100 hitter, Not 24 at best. It's, it's uh, not worth it, but it's, it's all they got. It's, an it's all yeah. they can do. Uh, so, it's it, and they have to have those cards. It really limits their options. So it's worth mixing it up because, like I said, it it also hurts uh, Dino Rabbit a lot. There's a lot of decks out on the market right now. This is gonna hurt, uh, especially Hero Beat, which is coming back, guys. Hero Beat is doing extremely well uh, everywhere it's going. Uh, I got rocked by it at regionals, that's for sure, and I know I'm not the only one. Uh, so, it, you're going to need to be prepared for them as well. Uh, and going on to the last one, the last one I don't have a copy of on me. I'm sure I do somewhere, but the card that we wanted to show you was uh, Black Horn of Heaven. You probably remember it from, uh, gosh, a long time ago. Uh, and uh, the big thing about it is it lets you negate, one, uh, negate the special summon of one of your opponent's monsters and destroy it. I, I just told you that everything about this deck is special summoning. Uh, and the fact that it's a counter trap and they can't chain anything after it other than another counter trap, it's really going to uh, limit what they can do. Uh, 
it will stop the loop. It'll stop all that stuff that you want to stop, but without the uh, heavy cost, without the heavy cost of having a useless card in your hand. Uh, now, granted, you have to set it. You're not going to start that, uh, stop that FTK loop. Uh, well, not FTK, but that uh, first turn hand kill, I guess, uh, loop. But you were never going to stop that to begin with, or at least not reliably enough for it to be worth siding. For me, when I side, I whenever I draw into a card, I want to do well with it. If uh, I draw into a side card and it's dead, it's a useless side card. It's not worth having if I draw into it and it's dead, unless I'm winning. But if I'm losing and I draw into a side card and it doesn't help me, why did I side it in? So, uh, skill drain, it stops the monsters uh, on the field from using their effects. Uh, if they can't use their effects, they're, most of them, they're what, 1800 or less monsters? Most of them are 1600 or less uh, monsters. They're not good enough to stand on their own. Uh, goes in match. Uh, it just limits the deck so much that they don't have any choices. They don't have any options. Uh, and that's what Windup's all about. It's about creating those options using Factory, using all their various cards. If, if goes in matches on the field, they're going to have such a hard time. So if you're running uh, a split attribute deck, and uh, you got a couple of cards that are good side deck cards. Say you're running light and dark. Say you're running chaos, and you got uh, a couple of uh, let's say you put thunder kings in your side deck. I don't know why you're not maining them, but let's say you put some thunder kings in your side deck. It might be worth siding out those chaos sorcerers uh, to put in the thunder kings and run this uh, or something to that effect. Uh, maybe doom cows, something like that. And then the last card, obviously, is the one that's over there, and that's uh, Black Horn of Heaven. Uh, it stops it stops the stuff from happening. They're gonna try and special summon out that exceed, and that's when you hit them with uh, that's when you hit them with Black Horn of Heaven. It's no cost to you. You just activate it. They're gonna special summon. If they don't, they're gonna lose anyway. Uh, there's no way they're gonna beat you with their uh, with their 1600 hitters. They're not gonna. They're not just gonna summon up 1600 hitters and 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 take you down that way. Uh, they're going to have to go for some exceeds. Uh, so if they want to win, they're going to have to special summon. If you, they special summon, you're going to knock their monster back for free. Uh, those are the those are the cards that I wanted to discuss with you. That's the way uh, that I feel it is effective to side against uh, wind up right now. Uh, that will help you against multiple decks. So also they're all very cheap. You can pick them up for change. Uh, well, not, not the drain, but... The, oh, the drain... The drain's a little expensive. It's still accessible. But it's accessible. It's not... You're not You're not trying to get a hold of Max Seas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, I think that's everything. Uh, next time, we're going to do uh, Insectors. Uh, I got a couple of things, as well as more or less... It's it's a strategy to, co to combat them, but we'll get on that in the next video. Uh, and uh, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you guys later. Oh, by the way, going back to it real quick. Uh, do leave comments down below. I like reading comments. Uh, I, I would love to hear what you guys want me to talk about. I'd love to hear if you guys think I ramble. Uh, and uh, basically, I just want to want to see the feedback. Uh, so do, do, do. Yes, All right, guys. I know I just said doo doo. Doo doo. Uh, but <laughs> do leave comments. All right, guys. This is Justin with Yu Gi Oh! Teammates. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Bye bye, guys.